What's up, Print Fam? Happy Tuesday. I'm at the Konica Minolta building, as you can see. I'm here with Bob. Woo! Hey, Bob. So, we are here. Oh, should we just make people dizzy? So, sorry about the freeway noise. That's the freeway. Anyway, we are here because I'm not sure when the printer's coming. But they said that we could come print some jobs and use the showroom equipment. So I've got some stuff that I need to print for my business. I've got some stuff that my day job is printing through my business. And then Bob has got a newsletter. So we're gonna get that printed. And, or at least some of it, or try, or something. We'll see what happens. So that's what we're doing. B and I was good. I went late, but still good. I ended up going to bed at like four in the morning. So, what about you, Bob? How's BNI? Amazing. I actually got two jobs from BNI. So, so it was wonderful. Yeah, if you're interested in BNI at all, ask questions in the comment. We both have found it to be very vital to growing our book of sales. So, okay, talk to you in a bit. All right guys, we've been here for a few hours running jobs. The fiery that comes with the new printer has this nice little stand. It tells you what's printing, how long, how much papers in which tray, how much ink you have, how many pages per minute, how much processing power of the fiery. So it's kind of cool, you can actually gang up jobs from different trays and it will just print job after job so this is the actual printer that i'm getting we're just having to deal with logistics of when it will be delivered to my house and i also need to get some different power run because this requires more power than what the rico required so right now we're doing a double-sided um, just eight and a half by 11. It is 500 copies, 1500 sheets total. And we have about 500 left that we're doing, which is about the 15 minutes. So 45 minutes to run this job. I bought these nice boxes at the paper store today so that we could deliver them in a neat manner. So pretty exciting. All right guys, just leaving Konica. That took forever. So now five o'clock, we got there about one. So four hours to get all these jobs printed. Hopefully I don't have to pay for them other than the paper, but we'll see. Uh, I gotta get the, a couple of them delivered to the customers. Some of them I gotta get home and cut on the Duplo. Bob and I also will meet up again tonight. He left a few hours ago to go get some shirts from the screen printer so we'll meet up again tonight to do some more vinyl for him and get my jobs all worked out i've got to do some heat transfer and just make sure i'm caught up on things so we'll check in a little bit later tonight all right print fam we are back from driving home spend some time with the family bob's here we're currently trying to color match this so Bob has put together some swatches that we just sent to print on the HP Latex. So hopefully one of them will match because trying to print this same thing has not been working. So we're not sure, tried to color calibrate and the printer would crash. Uh, I think there's something wrong with the ICC profile. I messaged, um, LexJet and they didn't respond to my request so I'll follow up with them again tomorrow but Bob has been working on a website 
and I have been working on some business cards, some presentation folders, and uh, just going through my emails, making sure I've got everything. I do still need to finish up the heat transfers that are back in the back behind Bob and uh, need to get all the prints that we printed today at Konica cut down. So hopefully I can get that cutter tested as well as set up the Duplo for the thicker jumps. So not sure if I'll get to it tonight. I'm a little tired from going to bed so late yesterday and then getting up super early to go to BNI. So we'll see. But we'll go ahead and change the order of things. And if you want to help support the channel, make sure you subscribe, share with a friend. You can use the Amazon affiliate links, buy stuff from Cam's merch store, buy stuff from Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Your price stays the same. Small commission comes back to help the channel. So, okay, check in in a bit. All right, guys, as you can see, just barely, slightly, slightly, barely, sort of, whatever the best way to say that, the samples are sticking out. None of them are matching the original print. It's one of those nights. <laughs> and the bottom, or the profile, every time we run it, like I said before, is failing. We tried cloning it to see if that resolved it, still didn't resolve it. So if any of you guys know the issue, I'd love, I'd love some suggestions. I reached out to my sales rep instead of just their generic support line to see if he could answer it. I'm also a member of a Facebook group of HP Latex owners and someone else had the same issue, but they never posted the resolution. So, I'm kind of unsure what to do. So, Bob and I, I think we've given up for tonight on the vinyl. He's also given up on doing the HTV that he needs to do. And because I'm a dumb dumb. He's a dumb dumb. And I need to still do my HTV. So, I get to spend lots of time leading and having fun and Bob are you sticking around are you going home like what are you what are you doing don't say that uh if you need help leading I'll be here I don't need help okay. I'm don't... gonna go home and bang my head against the wall somewhere Bob's gonna go home and try to go to sleep maybe no nope. well I did not meet my goal today. Did you meet your goal, Bob? Yes, I did. Does it really count, though? Yes, it does. Okay. Bob met his goal. I did not meet mine. So, I'm not sure I'm going to follow up with you after the weeding, because it'll be boring, and I'm just going to watch a movie or something. So, let's just end the vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed the footage of the printer today. We gotta figure out how to arrange the office because it's quite a bit. But how much bigger would you say this is than the Rico Bob? Let's get you like better framed here. Um, I would give it like an extra two, maybe three feet on the Rico. So just a little bit bigger. But here's the real issue, though. Darren, did you tell them about? your new want that you have? I have a lot of wants, so I kind of forget. So, the new um, square booklet bundler? Oh, yeah. Did, did you did you even show them what it did? No. Oh. Should I go get it? You should, do you want me to go get it since you're right there in front and I'm in the back? Well, I got it. It's, it's buried. Oh. I'll show you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Be excited, be ready for the next vlog when he can show you his his very big want that he has. It's not that big. No, 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 because here's the thing. When, when we originally asked them, 
how much was it to get that unit? They said, oh, it's more than the actual unit you are buying now, right now. Just the attachment is more than what the whole entire unit cost. But then we talked to him more and they kept changing their tune. So we don't really know what it cost. Oh, well, I wasn't there for that portion. I just remember that initial one. And I was like, oh. Well, then he said, I think I told, I'm spending $40,000. Like, it, it pains me to even think about it. But it prints money. So, like, literally, I printed, um, so the job for the car dealership I don't know what they're charging me, but if I'm paying for paper, paying for ink, if they do charge me for the ink, then that job costs $180 to print. And I sold it to them at $580. So it was a $300 profit margin. Uh, the only thing that's not included with that is I used two letterhead boxes which those were about 60 cents a piece. And um, what else doesn't it include? Cutting, oh no, we didn't have to cut it down. Yeah, it, it's missing one other like minuscule detail, like I forget. a few dollars worth. So like if you can get the jobs, it's awesome. It's totally worth it. Like Bob's newsletter, holy nuts. Like. So nice. <laughs> Except for I have to lick every single one. Ugh. Well, we just need to figure out how to get the paperweight to work better. So, like, yes, like, it, it is a hard number to look at how much I'm spending, especially from what I was going to what the Rico cost, and then what the little <laughs> printer costs, and then what this costs. But I know I would, like I said, I if I don't, well, it's too late. I already bought it. If I didn't buy this one, I know six months from now, I'd be like, why didn't I do it? Because the previous printer, it was, it's called the 3070L because it's limited in the accessories that it can have. My printer, from what I understand, will accept all of the accessories that are available. So I can do a spiral binding attachment. I can do this square booklet attachment. I can do a straight edge cutter. I can do, like, I don't even know all the Envelopes. Different. So I guess if we take into account that the Rico couldn't print envelopes and we also had the Toshiba, if we meshed those together, they're about the same size. Yeah, that would be about the same. So, but we we did we were able to separate the two. This this one you, you can't really separate. I need a bigger office. If you guys want to order any <laughs> flyers, <laughs> flyer stickers, <laughs> flyers, stickers, business cards, you name it. Hit hit us up. We'll take care of you. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along with the journey. Hit the thumbs up button. Thanks Cam for editing the video. You're awesome. I appreciate you. I love you. You're my homie. Whoa, whoa. I thought I was your homie. You're my homie too. Oh, okay. You're my employee. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's my 1099 subcontractor. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> For now. Cam is just my buddy who I give gift cards every once in a while and love and appreciate you. And hopefully someday that will change. And your pods. You, you yeah, that's true. Pods. I did. You see, Bob, the difference between you and me? I've known Darren for a long time. The difference between you and me? I was like, hey, Darren. I see you're uploading videos again. Let me edit for you. That's why you're his employee and I'm his buddy. Remember that. So, thanks as always. Have a good one. 
See you.